but then india sprung a surprise out came mahendra singh dhoni at number 3 dhoni hitting 15 fours 10 sixes probably might have finished a little earlier if i was given the ball that day so no batting no bowling only a bit of fielding and uh, um, the good thing about this um, uh, dhoni innings was there was not a lot of running uh, for us to do either because the ball kept sailing over our heads all the time and each time he hit the ball it went further and further away a stunning knock great move by india to have sent him at number 3 to Yes, that was a, sh- uh, a shocker, you'd say, because I'm coming from a Sri Lankan point of view. Uh, we were in uh, India for a seven-match series. Um, end of the series, we had lost 6-1. This was the third one in Jaipur. Now, the 189 was made on October 29th. This particular game that Mahindra Singh Dhoni's uh, heroics we're talking about is October 31. All special things seem to happen in October and the last week of October, just like my birthday. Um, anyways, moving on from that. um sri lanka again batting first uh, we, we got off to a, a good start jay surya was out early but then a partnership between mile jayawardhan and kumar sangakkar sangakkar actually opened the batting that day uh, took us deep in uh, to the innings and unfortunately it, uh, on this uh, batting track i didn't get a hit because things had gone so well and farviz maharuf was promoted above me Uh, to go and uh, swing the bat 33 of 16 to him sangakkar ended up on 138 of 147 jayawardhan a 71 of 70 298 for 4 and we were pretty comfortable with what we had on the board uh, we had in uh, a good bowling lineup chaminda vas dilhar fernando uh, spin twins of pul chandana and muttaya murlidhar and then there's farviz maharuf uh, and to add to that plenty of part time bowling and we were very confident uh, of defending these uh, runs and trying to come back into the series we were 2-0 down at that stage uh yes we did well two wickets knocked down virendra sevag sachin tendulkar out early sachin of course was out in the first over uh, caught by sangakkar of, of was but then india sprung a surprise out came mahendra singh dhoni at number 3 so that would tell you that even um, india with the batting of rahul dravid Uh, Yuvraj Singh, uh, Venugopal Rao, uh, they felt they needed to do something special to get to this target. Now, it was not the first time that uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni had batted number three. He had batted a, a few times uh, prior to that. And um, he had also, the first time he'd walked out at number three, uh, when India batted first against Pakistan, he had uh, uh, scored a uh, hundred there. So, this was not the f- first time that he'd gone in there and rocked the boat. out he came and quietly took control um india getting to that target in 46 overs the excitement the buzz we had uh, during the innings break and as uh, the indian innings started soon started disappearing as the ball did 145 balls is is what it took mahendra singh dhoni in india got to the 298 in fact 303 for 4 in the 46th over um dhoni hitting 15 fours 10 sixes probably might have finished a little earlier if i was given the ball that day so no batting no bowling only a bit of fielding and uh, um, the good thing about this um, uh, dhoni innings was there was not a lot of running uh, for us to do either because the ball kept sailing over our heads all the time and each time he hit the ball it went further and further away a stunning knock a great move by india to have sent him at number 3 to surprise the opposition um and uh, adding to that why didn't he bat at number 3 on more occasions he probably could have done a lot more damage uh, when you think of the few times he's batted and the way he's gone about it uh, but to be honest we really did have um, our tails high having that score on the board uh, to defend this score and come back into it but uh, was short lived because dhoni came in on the fifth ball of the innings and uh, a different ball game from then on <laughs>